Hi everyone, my name is Megan Alino, and if you know me, you've probably heard me mention diversity Inc. before, and if you don't know me, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. <laughs> um, so I want to start maybe four or five years ago when I was just starting out in high school. I was that girl who didn't really exceed that one thing in particular. I just did what it took to get by. I was the average student that didn't really challenge myself to be any better than I was. Um, until one day, my best friend, Jay John, pointed out that just above my collarbone on the left side, it looked swollen and bigger than the other side. And when I felt sick of my bones, I felt a lump. And it didn't hurt. I didn't feel any different. Nothing was out of the ordinary. Um, but I showed my mom, and she was like, that's not normal, like I'm not going to sleep tonight unless I take you to the emergency room right now. The next thing I knew, I was in the car with my mom, headed to the nearest emergency room, like in tears because I was so confused and I had no idea what was going on, I didn't know what was going to happen. And the next thing I knew, I was um, in an ambulance on the way to Phoenix Children's Hospital. And the next thing I knew, I was in surgery as the doctor was trying to figure out what was wrong. Um, and then the next thing I knew, I was being diagnosed with cancer at 15 years old. And I found myself completely lost. I did not see, I did not speak, I did not work. that I was going to do whatever it took to get better. So I went through three months of chemotherapy, went through four months of, of, of radiation, lost all my hair at 15, went through all the treatments, did everything that was necessary until I was um, in remission. I'm still in remission, I'm still surviving, but oh my god goodness did that put life in perspective for me. My eyes have never been open so widely. Like I've never gotten such a crazy wake up call. Like I knew then that my life something in my life needed to be changed and then I needed to do something and then that I was here for a reason and I found that my reason was to help others. And if that meant taking what I went through to help others, I was going to do it. Um so, uh, I went through high school, I graduated, I found myself in the summer right before college, and I didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew I was going to go to community college, um, <laughs> the thought of being in debt for the rest of my life really scared me. So I took my placement test, I got the president scholarship, I was going to school for free. Um, I then enrolled in a class called Call 101. And in this class, I learned about how crazy this world really is. Um, in Calm 101, I learned um, about how this world is so full of connection, so full of anger and violence and unawareness and disregard. I learned so much about open-mindedness, I learned about belonging. I, uh, oh my gosh, the one thing that really helped me is I learned about commitment. Like, I found, in common one, I found this thing that I was so passionate about that I really was able to commit, commit myself fully to it. I found a home with this group of people that I went through common one with that I developed a family in Diversity Inc. with. And Diversity Inc. was the first place that I really felt like I belonged. I found a new family, especially. And, oh my gosh, how crazy it was doing that was. Um, and the most awesome part about all of this is that I found this new family that shared the same love and the same passion for helping others that I do. So, as I have this passion about helping others, they share it with me, and we are 
this forge of such influence, and I have never been so thankful for such a thing, I realized that like through through common one, through diversity, through this family, through this connection, through this belonging, I really realized that it's no longer okay for people to live unhappy. Like why live unhappy? Why deal with other people's bullshit, really? Like, it's not okay because we have the power to change our lives and we have the power to do what makes us happy and we have the power to help others be happy. So caring for someone else is something that really makes me happy. And it's actually proven that small kindness for others will help you yourself be more happy. Well, I know that I personally want to leave a positive influence on this earth when I leave. I want my presence and my existence on this planet to be known and to be positively reflected. And in this group of people, we share that. And we are out, we are set out to make a difference in this world. And I hope that if you didn't know about diversity already, or if you're hearing about it for the first time, that you reach out to me or you reach out to another member of diversity and can you find out more about it because we are forced to be reckoned with <laughs> and this is something that makes us all so happy and this is something that we will be so beneficial. So I'm going to thank you all for listening and I hope that you reach out and I hope that you are very interested in this because I love it. So thank you again.